Vermont for the first time. This was the last state in the lower 48 that I hadn't set foot on, and now we're here. And uh, of course, with technical difficulties. Uh, hello, everybody. Happy Friday. And it doesn't work. I'm writing, 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 writing in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome. We may be buffering. We may have a some issues here but uh, the internet is coming on and off and uh, hopefully you guys are able to see me and hopefully I'll, I'm able to see you I think we are we, we're gonna have like a like a minute delay here uh, after all is said and done uh, but a whole minute of delay and that's what happens when the internet is sketchy I wanna before we before we start thank you adventures with Ken and Linda for that super chat thank you so much and uh, Hello, everybody. We have, of course, the RV DJ in the house, uh, Mr. Dylan Reynolds. Um, I'm ready for my first stream since September 17, 2021. Yeah, we missed you last week, uh, Dylan. I understand you have a new account. So, um, Chris Caldwell, uh, Diana here will be making filet mignon steaks and baked potatoes soon for my hubby. Yeah, he saved me some because I haven't had dinner yet. And uh, It was a long drive. It was a long drive. This morning we were at the western end of the Finger Lakes, and we took kind of like the scenic route. So, uh, yeah, it's been uh, Natalie Driscoll from Down Under, Christopher Olsen from Sweden, Sandra Salas, Happy Friday, Neon Pony, <laughs> thank, thank God it's Robert, TGIR, yeah, we have to do it. Uh, we did a, an awesome karaoke there at the end of the, <laughs> of, the, of the show of her concert. And that was uh, that was a lot of fun. April Jordan, hello from Wisconsin. Well, hello from Vermont. And once again, for first time in Vermont, I should have a Vermont beer. Uh, but uh, actually, I picked up I picked this up in, in I think I believe in Indiana a couple of weeks ago. It is from Louisville, Kentucky. I couldn't find anything from Indiana at that particular supermarket. But Kentucky is like the next state south, so I figure you know, in honor of my of my cousin Juan in Louisville. Just across the river from Indiana. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. We're gonna have a good time tonight. Let's celebrate. It's all right. Oh, these these mugs uh, they hold a lot more than than you would think. And it looks like I'm buffering again, but uh, I'm sure it'll be a temporary setback. Thank you, Neon Pony, for that super chat. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, and uh, and uh, Johnny Kite Bartolo says, uh, Jamie and I say hello to all our fellow Pelican heads, executive producer, uh, on um, a member for two months. Thank you, thank you so much, and I think I'm back. Uh, it's going back and forth, isn't it? But it is what it is. I'm sorry about the buffering. We are in a pretty remote place here in, in Vermont. The campground Wi-Fi was no good. And then AT&T said we're going like between three and five is, is on and off. I'm using this, this new um, cell phone booster. I don't know if you guys can see it. I just picked it up in Indiana. It's by King. And it says powered by WeBoost. So it's as I've always suspected the same uh, technology. But this is a portable one. So it doesn't require to be installed a, a permanently in the RV, so I, I just have it in the, on the bed of the truck. Or a, it, has, it comes with a with a tripod and a long uh, oh, oops, sorry, a uh, long pole, and you know it 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 seems to be working uh, on and off, right? <laughs> um, then, and as I don't, as I'm, I'm gonna start a new series uh, probably next week about internet on the road and the ons and offs and, and uh, what's working and what's not working and uh, and the things that I'm doing to try. I mean, I mean um, everybody said in the review, after we made the reservation, of course, because that's what happened. Everybody said that this campground had, like, very sketchy internet. 
and I didn't feel like, I mean, everything else is kind of full. So I didn't feel like, you know, canceling the reservation. I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll see if we, if we don't, if we don't get internet, we'll cancel the live stream. That's why I didn't schedule it until like the last minute. <clears throat> In any case, uh, let me read some of your comments here. Uh, the Brody, Brody, hey, Robert, my, wish my grandson good luck on his football game today. Hey, Brody, Brody, grandson, good luck. Good luck and karma. Uh, Marcus E., hello from Brazil. Hello, Brazil. And uh, Kevin Johnson representing Dalton, Georgia. And from Florida, thank you for that super chat. Uh, hi, Robert. Uh, okay, yes, I, I already. That's a nice mug. Thank you. And uh, you haven't seen the other side yet. That's another souvenir I picked up in Indiana. Uh, last week I mean for television purposes I should drink it with my left hand right so you <laughs> so you see the the commercial there um, hey Robert nice to connect with you this is VJ from India now in Seattle a big follower of your blog for two years now thank you so much and thank you for being here once again um, thank you and uh, Rockin' Rob is here, Lakota, Red Deer, it's okay now. Yeah, it's going to be coming on and off as, as, uh, as it is. Uh, and sometimes after a while, since, and right now, by the way, we are a minute and a half behind. I think what it, what it does when it buffers, this software that I'm using, it kind of put, puts it on pause. And then it kind of, as, as, the, as the stream goes forward, it kind of stabilizes, if you will. Janice Gay Powers, great singing voice, Robert. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, we did. Uh, uh, we did. Uh, we, we did some singing at the end of the of the party uh, last uh, last weekend. Question: Are you almost in Quebec, Canada? I, kind of. I mean, I would have. I'm in southwestern Vermont, so I would have to like uh, drive across or you know north and south to north on the, on the entire state of, of um, quebec of, of uh, vermont but yeah we are in the state that borders uh, quebec so yeah hey tyron tyron wicks and uh, hold on because we have a super chat thank you tyron and uh, my mouse i'm gonna i'm gonna need to get me a new mouse this mouse is like I mean, even even the logo already erased. You, you, that erased. You know, I've been using it a lot. So, hey, Red Jaguar, Cactus Jack. Who else is here? Michelle K. Hello, Michelle. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, Irem Garza is currently working on the 2022 summer two-week vacation trip. Do you recommend reaching all the way to the Grand Canyon from Naples, Florida, or do you think two weeks is not enough? It's not enough. You're gonna be driving the whole time, man. And um, yeah, no. In two weeks, we did Chicago, and it was kind of rushed. So if you wanna, I mean, if you wanna venture west of the Mississippi, you might as well. I mean, I know it's hard, but I would do at least three weeks, maybe even a month, uh, if 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 at all possible, you know. Hey, Mary Callan, I think I need to start a vlog myself. Hey, the more the merrier. And uh, two weeks too early in Vermont. Peak season is October 14th. I know, but yeah, some, somebody told me that uh, it was going to be early this week. I'm going to be in the area for about two weeks. So hopefully. And I, and I, I, download, I, I got this map. I don't know if I can show it to you guys. Maybe I won't. I don't want to kill the internet here. But I got this map. It's called the 2020 Foliage Prediction Map. And it's, uh, according to this, October 4th, Northern Vermont is past peak, according to this. And we should be peaking by October 4th. That's why I made it here, you know, October 1st. But, again, I don't have to be back in Miami until November 1st. So we're going to linger in this area for about two weeks. I, I, I was thinking one week Vermont, one week New Hampshire, and uh, if, uh, as, as we get to higher elevation, actually it was beautiful uh, in parts of um, in the Pennsylvania wilds. It's, it was it was getting pretty, pretty, pretty colors, you know, the reds and the oranges and all that. 
Michelle K. Hello, Lucky Dog. Didn't see the live uh, chat icon. And uh, Jennifer Young, uh, watching from Charlotte. And um, Drone KLM, saludos desde Honduras. Come down and do some diving in Roatán with us. Honduras, Roatán, yes. I, I, one of these days I'm going to do a, a tour of uh, Honduras. Maybe I'll do a, like, a, like a camper van trip in all of Central America. But... Uh, I had a good friend. We lost uh, we lost touch uh, at some point, but I had a good friend from La Ceiba in uh, in Honduras. We used to work together back in early nineties. So there you go. <clears throat> Sammy Chicken, Robert. Even though it may buffer, we can still talk to each other across the globe. Globe. You are somewhere remote in America. We are in South Australia from our caravan to yours. All right. Isn't this something? We, we live in a great era. Uh, technology wise that's for sure hello Robert we follow your footsteps and bought a camp acre f a, a camp 50 acre property in northern Alabama we're calling it max camp yeah that's like 50 pelly camps um, and, uh, I thought an acre was a lot but now that I built pelly camp I think uh, an acre is like the bare minimum so next pelly camp west or pelly camp north or whatever I decide to do it it's definitely gonna be more than an acre Robert are you coming to Massachusetts um, it's very likely, it is very likely, in fact, was it Massachusetts or, or Connecticut that we almost uh, crossed over? Yeah, Massachusetts, I mean, we are like, I don't know, 10 minutes away from Massachusetts, that close. So, uh, you never know, and, uh, and my computer is acting up again. doesn't matter, as, as, long, as, uh, as long as you can uh, see me and hear me, uh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, Eddie Negrete, good question. <coughs> Did you change your whole intro vocals or just interchange in with for with my RV? Actually, with my RV was the original uh, lyrics that I wrote in 2014. So that's the original recording from late 2014. And then since I thought at some point, I was, uh, sooner than later, I was going to move into a motorized RV like a camper van or a Class C. Uh, and I thought it sounded better. I changed it to in my RV. But I decided to go back since I'm going to be uh, towing at least for another year, right? So, um, yeah, that's the... Uh, we were just at the BRB at Mount Pisgah. Lips are starting to look pretty there. Yeah, it, the, I know the, the, the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, I was there, when was it, like three years ago or four years ago? Still off with old, old key if memory serves, and uh, yeah. Um, everybody say hello to my mom. Uh, greetings from Miami, Dylan. I missed you last week. I hope everyone is good with health and happy to be here sharing love and peace. Thank you, thank you, and cheers, cheers, mom. And the, oh, this is new, right? Because the a member for 15 months. The RVDJ celebrates six, 15 months of membership. I don't know. I was, it was fun hanging out and singing with you and Illy and M21. I think this is new that it highlights certain memberships when it's an anniversary. I don't know. That's interesting. Natalie Driscoll, lots of Australians today, really. I have, you know, the, the, the chat, even in, in this slow, slow, slower mode, goes by so quickly. Hey, Mr. CLT in the house. Greetings, Mr. CLT. Greetings, everybody from Vermont. By the way, if, if you didn't read the title or you're, you're just, you just arrived, we are in Vermont for the first time. And, uh, you know, I, I need to get me a sticker map for this RV. Maybe I'll put it here. Maybe back here would be a good place to put it so you guys can see it. And uh, Ely is here. Ely is being a member for 36 months. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> 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 okay, that's cool. Did you have to click an anniversary thing or something? Yeah, it's uh, doesn't show now because I just did it. Okay, well there you go. Hey, Andrew and Monica, thank you. Uh, did you see the 2022 Winnebago Bolt Class B has a 24 gallon black tank? Impressive. Mm, that's a lot of poop. I I'm, I gotta I gotta take a look at it because. Uh, because I would love a Class B with that. That's that's the only thing I love the Travato, for example. But 
that's the only thing, you know, a, um, a you know, having a, 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 what is it, 12 gallon black tank, black tank, it's like ELT celebrating 20 months of membership. Now everybody's going to do it, is it? <laughs> Aren't you guys? <laughs> Woo! Earl Wilson, hello. Howdy from California, mid 80s, light breeze. Oh, that's nice here. It's been in the high 40s at night. I don't know how, how, how low is gonna, how low can you go all the way to the flu. I don't know uh, how low it's gonna go tonight, but it's been, well, today was kind of uh, in, starting in that uncomfortable zone, but uh, it's been very nice. It's been, uh, the weather today was nice, it's been sunny. It's actually in the sun, I had to take my hoodie off. Um, Paul and Sarah Merchant, hi Robert, we are big fans of your channel here in the UK, love your travels across USA, but will you do more content in Miami as soon as I get back to Miami? You know, it's hard to do content where you live because you don't, you, you don't usually, uh, you usually go out to the same places that you already know. So I, 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 would, I would have to do uh, some research on my own hometown. That, Natalie Driscoll, member for 10 months. Uh, hi, sorry I missed last week. I'm not sure why I get this highlighted anniversary message this week. Hey, uh, it's cool. It's cool that it does that. And Christopher Olson, also member for ten months. Hello, Christopher. Thank you all for for being members, and all for you, all, all of you who who, who watch uh, the channel. Uh, you know, every uh, every week and come to the live streams. You know, this is uh, four hundred and twelve of you today. Kevin Bangley, happy Friday, Robert. What are your winter travel plans? They're not setting stone yet. Uh, after the Tampa RV show, which I'm probably going to attend, attend, that's uh, like a 90% chance. Um, the idea is going back out west. I'm going to go to Quartzsite. I may not do, like, I'm not going to rush, like in years past, like to do the big tent. And uh, I, I just want to spend a couple of days there, just for all time's sake. Maybe I'll meet up with some people. And uh, and then the idea is, uh, you know, go up to probably Utah. And uh, I don't know, Nevada. Do a little bit, linger a little bit in that area. And then I don't know if I want to maybe return through Texas, explore a little bit of Texas, which we haven't really explored a uh, hill country all that much, or even parts of western Texas. Mm. Maybe we'll do New Mexico, um, finally go to the, to the VLA, right? So, uh, things like that, you know, little things like that, we'll see. Uh, uh, Colin McSherry, what are your impressions of Vermont? Well, I've been here for like five minutes, so I really don't don't know yet. But so far, this whole area, very, very pretty, uh, uh, very hill, hilly in that sense. So tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to take a couple of scenic drives here in Vermont. We're going to hitch. Illy doesn't have to work because it is Saturday. So tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, we're going to try to explore as much of southern Vermont as possible. And then as the week progresses, you know, we're going to go up to... Woodstock, Burlington, probably by the end of the week we'll be in Burlington, probably Thursday, Friday, and uh, then we want to visit the capital, which name escapes me right now, but, uh, and then off to, to New Hampshire. Traveling Robert, we are in southwest New Hampshire, maybe a meetup this weekend, Um Probably next week, if, if we do anything, it's going to be next, uh, uh, in two weeks, actually, it's probably when we're going to be in southern uh, New Hampshire. I don't think I'm going to cross into New Hampshire uh, this time around. We'll see. We'll see. If, if anything happens, just uh, follow the, the Traveling Robert and Friends group, because that's where I'll probably uh, announce anything that we do. A real land home uh, celebrating 14 months as a member uh, what are your suggestions for visiting Georgia in October? I'll spend three nights in Savannah, one night in Clayton, and one night in the Uh Or oh, in the mountains, it's going to be beautiful this time of the year, uh, the, the, with the leaves turning. And, uh, and of course, Savannah is always it's a beautiful city. It's probably going to be nice, not as hot as, as it usually is in the summer. 
and uh, Dahlonega. Don't forget to visit like Blairsville, uh, uh, all that area. You know, Georgia's tallest mountain at Brastown Bald. Uh, I mean, I didn't have uh, the best experience there, but Helen is a nice uh, uh, town. It's tourist trappy, but it's it's a nice place. If it, especially in October, maybe not because they have that crazy October fest that lasts like two months. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my mistake visiting during Oktoberfest, but uh, I hear at any other time of the year, it's uh, it's a very uh, nice place to be. The Lost of Years got us King Walker Ranch, Robert. And now that's an adventure for sure. I don't know, is King Walker? What's there? That's a good name for like a. Anyway, never mind. Neon Pony, thank you for that super chat. Explore more mid northern Arizona, like that loop you mentioned 88 to the 300 to 87. So many vistas, uh, you'll be amazed. And I would love to do that that uh, that road that I couldn't do, but it's gonna be winter again. So, and Jim in DC celebrating seven months. Uh, is this green? For your Vermont leaves, it, it, it's it's still kind of green out there. Hopefully, well, once we get higher elevation or whatnot, it, it'll it'll get better. But I, actually, I thought I was gonna be late. This whole week, I was gonna like in the original plan. I was gonna linger in upstate New York, maybe visit the Adirondacks uh, and, and that area, but. Uh, yeah, maybe we came early, which is fine. If we came early, we can wait. If we came late, we cannot do the time machine thing. N Nancy Reynolds, thank you for that super chat. Hope you get to see the beautiful fall colors. Pennsylvania is awesome, too, with colorful leaves. And we were, we were just there. We went to the, the King Kingsua Bridge uh, State Park out there in the Pennsylvania wilds, and it, it was starting to get really, really beautiful. And on the way here, we took uh, US-20, uh, all throughout New York, and and it was nice. Uh, CLT, let me be your guide here in Miami traveling. Robert, I got some great places. Let's do that. Let's do that when we come back, uh, maybe late November or, or early December. We'll figure it out. And maybe now that, uh, you know, things are almost entirely back to normal, we can visit some, some cool places. Uh, Neon Pony, anytime. Brandon Martin, Stowey, yeah, definitely Stowey, Sugar Bush, all that. Uh, Jay Peak is not, Mad River is not on my list, but uh, Stowey and Sugar Bush for sure are on my list. Montpellier, the, and I'm probably pronouncing it like a Frenchman. Montpellier, the capital of Vermont, that's true. Which Vermont does stand for Green Mountain, right? In French, I, think, I believe that's where the, the name comes from, from Vertemont. Um, yeah. The Lost of Years, thank you for the super chats. King Walker Ranch, fear, fright, and horror. I don't know, man. I don't know, man, like like Camo Dave says. If, <laughs> uh, maybe I'll do. Maybe I will. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll see you uh, so, somewhere out there out west uh, this coming winter. Uh, Frank Cavazos Jr., thank you for the super chat. Glad to see you always. Uh, come to visit Laredo, Texas. Definitely, and I want to. I want to camp on the. I don't know if it's a good time of the year. It probably is. I want to do like South Padre Island. I've seen a, a, a lot of o o other nomads do that. And there's a boulevard, um, something or another. It's, I believe it's near Houston. Um, there's a lot of places to to boondock on the beach in Texas, and. Um, I may need to get new tires for the Colorado. They're getting a little long in the tooth if I want to do like some high traction activity like that. Uh, Christian Jacome, thank you for the super chat. Uh, have you thought about RVing in Mexico? I thought about it. And I definitely want to do it. Um, you never know. This winter, if I get bored with Utah, which I probably won't, let's face it, we might go down to Cabo. You never know. Uh, did you go to grade school in Cuba? Yes, I did. I went I, I, uh, until 10th grade, I did in Cuba. Where are we staying? Hello there, super, super chat. Sorry, we missed saying our goodbyes at the M21, so bye for now. I know, 
you know what happened? Uh, we, we left at like at the crack of dawn uh, to to go see uh, Mackinac Island. We went to Mackinac Island. It was great, great trip. A little far, you know. I'll, I'll be the first to admit it, but we had to do it. This Mackinac Island. And we went to that place that, that Jason, uh, you know, the pilot, uh, recommended on the Mission Point Resort. Duke Chaps, thank you for the super chat. Visit Lake, Lake Champlain in Vermont. Beautiful, Lake Champlain. I'll remember that one. I'll think of Champlain. And then I'll remember Lake Champlain. Lily Strain, I just wanted to see if you were going to be at the RV Tampa show in January. We're going to be there. We're definitely going to be there. And the Winnebago is, that's what they told me, is organizing some kind of meetup. And that's the main reason I'm, I'm going to be there this year. Uh, so, yeah. And the Northwoods RV Live. Hello. Can't wait. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. And, um, can't wait to meet up again somewhere. And uh, somewhere, M twenty one was awesome. Yes, it was so great uh, to, to 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 meet so many of you. You know, uh, all of you out there. Um, and even though it was too short, next time we have to do like three or four days, right? So so we have more time, you know, to 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 organize, you know, more ways to to meet and and hang out. Like maybe we can do it. Like maybe next time we can actually rent. The, the gazebo, what is it called? The, the pergola, the the, the, the 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 large meeting area so we can have, you know, maybe like a, like, a, like a more organized activity, a campfire or something like that. That would be cool. Andrew and Monica, what do you think of the Phoenix Cruiser TRX 22 feet and dry bath? I didn't see it. I didn't see it at the place, but I know Phoenix Cruiser is very, uh, is very well uh, built. But all of them have a slide now, and I'm thinking my next RV, I mean, I like having the extra room in here, but maybe my next RV won't have a slide. I kind of, you know, being kind of like being cozy and and the RV being the same always. But uh, New York City was fairly warm as we were walking through lower Manhattan to be in the 80s at the Jersey Shore. I heard it really. And uh, we might make it to the Jersey Shore just yet, m m late in the season, but we might on this trip. Come to New Mexico October 1st. Balloon Fiesta starts tomorrow. Getting up at 4 a.m. to get there early. Much dog anytime. We will, maybe, maybe we'll do Balloon Fiesta next year. I know uh, um, Changing Lanes is, is there doing something because I, I saw it on, on Instagram. What about travel to Europe when it's possible? Uh, actually, it is kind of possible right now, but uh, and that's that's my big thing for uh, next summer. Did we start buffering a few minutes ago? Because I, I know that the anyway, anyway, anywho, um, I have three concurrent plans that I what whichever of the three happens, you know, that's the one that I'm gonna do. We can do Alaska. We can do Europe. And there was another one that I wanted to do. Actually, Europe in the dead of summer may not be the best idea. I'd, I'd like to go like late spring, early fall. So it's not so hot and not so crowded. And I know, I, I, at least when I used to live in, in Spain, Madrid kind of empties, empties out on, on August. There's nobody there. So you need to go to Gulf Shore State Park. I've driven through there. I've stopped by, but I need. I definitely need to do. A, hey, one eighty two flyer, Mister Jason Berger. Are you still like on the other side of the world, or like two, three quarters of the way to the other side of the world? Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna buffer any minute now. But uh, he says, "Thank you for the second flying feature on your channel. I was really happy with how the video turned. Thank you for everything. Special to all of the traveling Robert viewers that have subscribed to my channel." No, you're welcome, man, and thank you, thank you for the opportunity to, to fly on the, on the plane. You know, it's a, uh, the, an over Pelly camp of all places. That that was, that was definitely a bucket list material right there. I hope you, I hope you get a chance to visit Shelburne Farms on the shores of Lake Champlain. Uh, I'm gonna look it up, and uh, you know, if if I could do it. 
um, we'll, we'll do the Cosmics. Uh, hi, Robert. There's a, a little surprise on your email. Yes, I know you published uh, our interview, our uh, part two interview. I'm going to share it in the group uh, later. Our second uh, interview with, with uh, Cosmic Leila. Uh, welcome to Vermont from Trisha Vogel. Welcome. Uh, be sure to drive through Smuggler's Notch when you visit uh, uh, Stowe. Hoping for some sunny weather for you. Enjoy. I think it's going to be nice tomorrow. I, and I, I, according to the to the um, to the forecast, it's going to deteriorate as the week progresses. But we'll see. And this is a pretty good IPA. And it's gone. Robert, go to Alaska. I really want to see you do a video on Alaska. Yeah, Alaska has been on the bucket list uh, RVing-wise for a long time. I just have to make sure that Winnebago will let me uh, take the trailer to Alaska, that that the Canadian authorities will let me cross the border with a trailer that is basically a loner. It's not under my name. And... Uh, How do you not get stir crazy living in an RV? Well, because it's a small room but huge backyard, and the backyard changes every couple of days. So, um, yeah, GTA Rockstar Games. I'm a big fan of your videos. Thank you, uh, GTA Rockstar Games. Uh, I bet you'd film a great video about co the coral reefs. How about dry tortugas? I've been there. The day that I went there was uh, a little um, the choppy in the the, the, the the water, so it wasn't the clearest views of the coral reef there. But we're gonna go back. I did that right after the hurricane, so you know everything was kind of uh, still not a hundred percent. But uh, McKinney Campground in Ackworth, Georgia, is open again. Well, if we uh, if we can't mooch dog with the family. Uh, we'll we, we could we could stay there now. Uh, Montpellier, check out Bragg Farm in East Montpellier. Uh, get a maple creamy. You'll never want regular soft serve again. Okay. Yeah, there's so much sweet we're gonna have in the in the next couple of days that. Traveling rubber IPA for your first Pelicamp IPA party. Uh, yeah, we should do a Pelican party at some point uh, when we're back in Florida, probably next year. This year is like going like this, so I don't know. Hey, Bob Lich, does the Winnebago mug come in a red one? <laughs> I think it's only red because this is kind of like the Winnebago color, uh, but uh, I have another one. And then gave me two. Okay, Charlotte Chanty, thank you for thank you for that super chat. You need to have a meetup in Macon, Georgia, so we can come there. We live in Phoenix City, all across the Chattahoochee from Columbus, Georgia. And uh, at some point, I want to do a, a, a Macon, Georgia meetup. We we were there in 2017. We were going, and that was my first trip as a, as a full time YouTuber. I had just quit my job, and that was the first trip that we did. Uh, that I didn't have to go back to work after the trip, right? So, um, so we went to see the, the solar eclipse, the great solar eclipse of 2017. Which we saw it near Katy's, uh, Kentucky, in the land between the lakes. Traveling Robert, my latest hot sauce recipe is something you would love. Sadly, even though I made a large amount, it is getting near gone, so it's yummy. Um, well, maybe I'll get the, the next batch, right? Rock and Rob, great news. Hope to finally meet you at the Tampa show. I, I hope so, too. I mean, the Tampa show is I'm 99% sure that we're going to go. So, yeah. Don't forget a Vermont sticker, unlike some people. Traveling Robert. Unlike some people. Who forgot the Vermont sticker? <laughs> oh, Vermont paint. Hey, Bruce. How are you? Uh, we eventually want to want a big old toy RV, a toy hauler. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're making toy haulers right now. Go to Burlington, definitely Burlington, and stay at the North Beach Campground. 
You must do apple cider donuts. I've heard of those too. Yes. Uh, LOL, Vermont Paint and Photo, the visitor center was closed, but I'm sure I can. You can mail me one. Oh, that was you, RV DJ, who forgot a sticker. Um, and Red Jaguar, hey, uh, Herbie, traveling Robert, I just got my drone license. What's a good drone that I can crash and crash? Get the, uh, get a, I, I would get a DJI just because they are so ubiquitous and, uh, and they're good. And I saw one, this tiny little one like this, and it doesn't make any noise. And I would start with something like that, get like a, Probably the $500 DJI will will be uh, perfect for you. The, the Mini or I forget what it's called. Um, but all of them are good. Hello, I are... Uh, well, it is Sunday. I turned... This is this is it. Sunday I turned the big 4-0. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I R O O three one nineteen eighty one. Happy birthday to you. And Earl, I was just thinking about you. Earl in Minnesota. Happy Friday from Earl and Kathy, and thank you for that super chat. Yeah, because I was thinking of uh, the next thrill ride would be like on a <laughs> on a snowmobile. We we're talking about something like that. You know, I've, I've, I've done the RV, I've done the boat, I've done the plane. Now I need a snow, snowmobile. So maybe maybe next winter we'll go up to Minnesota. Ah. Uh, Nash, uh, Robert, my husband wants to know when are you going to do a Miami meetup? I don't know. We have to coordinate with CLT and everybody else. Uh, when would be a when would be a good time? Maybe late this year we can do a Miami. I would love to do a Miami meetup. We've done two, three so far, and the three has have been very successful. So uh, I would love to do you know one in the home turf, of course. Patricia Walsh, thank you for that super chat. Patricia and John from San Carlos, California. Patreon Pelican Heads devoted to you and your music. Keep traveling. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really appreciate it, uh, Patricia. The ferry from New York to Burlington, Vermont is fun. Huh, I didn't know they had a ferry. Maybe, maybe we can do so many things. Uh, and I'm, I'm planning the trip as we go along. Like last night, I planned like the next two days, which is going to be mostly southern Vermont and, you know, going through all my emails and suggestions and, uh, you know, I've been doing research, of course, on Google, top 10 things to do and top uh, uh, scenic drives and um, and probably tomorrow night, because tonight is, uh, I, I still haven't unhitched, uh, tomorrow night uh, uh, I'll probably plan the rest of our time here in, in Vermont. Let's put it that way. Um, <clears throat> And uh, Catherine Sergefield, my husband, hits the big 40 in November. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Catherine's husband. Happy birthday, RV. Thank you for that super chat. Thank you from RV. That's a good name. I'm surprised it wasn't taken. Lee Green, thank you for that super chat. Hi, Robert. Both Maxine, Oliver, and I share a birthday on Tuesday. Can you sing for us? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, Lee, Maxine, and Lee. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday. And, uh, do, 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 hello, Daniel Ruiz, and my, my screen just died, oh, here we are. Good evening, Remen, Rebecca Muniz, uh, Robert, um, Love your song, uh, what you wrote about traveling. I find myself singing it all day long. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you liked it. And uh, yeah, who would have thought that afternoon in the shower uh, when I came up with it? Uh, Doug Blalock, uh, thank you for the super chat. Jenny and I are enjoying your videos very much. Thanks, and see you somewhere down the road. 
Godspeed to you and your lovely wife. Yeah, lovely wife is right here uh, across the table from me. Are you planning to go to Maine on this trip? I don't know. Uh, it all depends. We have we do have some time in Maine. Maybe not to go like, you know, in my ambitious original plan, we we're going to go all the way to the Bay of Fundy in Canada. But uh, I'm thinking let's just do more down here. Do more in Vermont. Do more in New Hampshire. And then kind of, you know, pace our way back down to... We're probably going to... Uh, we're probably gonna go down to to Georgia to visit the family. We're probably gonna spend a couple of days at Pelly Camp. Uh, actually, Shannon, the realtor, told him told me he's, he was gonna uh, take me out on his boat. He's made so many sales uh, that you know he wanted to to do like a like a, like a party kind of thing. So I don't know. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, but. I'm doubting it more and more. Let's see. Hey, Maxine Oliver, I also have a birthday, Robert, coming up on Tuesday. Happy birthday, Maxine. Happy birthday to you. And Vermont, Spain, if you hit Burlington area, go to Magic Hat Brewery. Good liquid snacks. Liquid snacks. Huh? Cheers. Yeah, definitely. Is the Burlington Coat Factory from Burlington? I know, I know that... The ice cream company. What's it called? Uh, ben and Jerry. Ben and Jerry. Ooh, hello, Robert. Of all the things I've lost, it is my mind that I miss the most. Uh, I know Ben and Jerry's is from there. So, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, Vivian Archibald, uh, please give a shout out to Nick Ross. Maybe you should try making a quick and easy meal in your RV live. One of these days I might do that. But the thing is, you know, it's uh, sometimes it takes a long time, and I think might, maybe you guys get uh, get bored. But we could do that. One of these days. Uh, Catherine Sargefield, my husband says, thank you for the birthday wishes. You're very welcome. And uh, my husband is from the Bay of Fundy. I wanted to go there, and I still do, and... Um, go to Mount Washington, take tour van to top is awesome. Don't advise driving up yourself. I was I wanted to drive up myself, you know, so I can put that bumper sticker on the Colorado. But we'll see. I mean, I drove to to Mount Evans in Colorado, which is arguably the highest paved road in the in the in the United States. So. Uh, ben and Jerry's is actually in Waterbury. The original Burlington store closed, and I'm pretty sure it's now the Skinny Pancake. Actually, they, I, I saw it on, on Google. They have like a plaque on the floor where the original, it was like a kiosk. There's a parking lot in the place now where the, where the original Ben and Jerry's was. Not that I'm a big ice cream person, but you know, you have to do it, right? Can we get some more drive streams while you're on the road? Yeah, I haven't done that in a while. I think the last one I did was uh, was when I was out west, like in North Dakota last year. So uh, maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll do. Oh my gosh, what is this? Thank you for that super chat. And there is one thousand ARS. Whatever ARS is, one thousand sounds like a, like a, like a lot. So thank you so much uh, for that uh, super chat. Thank you. And uh, what's ARS? Is that uh, no, Ars Technica? Argentina. Ar Argentine, see, <laughs> ARS. Yeah, Google doesn't know either. <laughs> Argentine peso. So, still, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, Muchas gracias. Y one of these days I want to visit Argentina. I want to do that Pan American Highway all the way to, to, to Ushuaia, which is like the southernmost most city in the world that you can drive to. Yeah, that would be right. 
A 182 flyer, Mr. Jason, still on the job now. Maybe we'll have to fly down and meet up with you. A hey, CLT, yeah, CLT wants me to get my, my pilot's license now. Thank you very much. So <laughs> maybe I will. I've always wanted to do that. It was just one of those things that uh, in life you have to pick your battles and uh, and uh, and I didn't never did it, but you know, at least for like at least I got my drone pilot license. You know, I'm, I'm a tenth of the way there. When I had my East Canada road trip, I actually ended up in New York. Uh, the drive from Montreal to New York was amazing. And, uh, yeah, upstate New York is beautiful. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful area. When would you publish summer 2021? Well, this uh, to, to, the day after tomorrow is the season premiere. Uh, don't get me wrong, Ben & Jerry's is great, but we also have many other local creamery that make much better product. I want to I try some of those, uh, like, uh, you know, maple syrup ice creams that you guys were talking about. So, yeah. Uh, and, okay, Miss Runner 475, Robert, warm wishes to you from Hershey, Pennsylvania. We just returned from Grand Teton, Yellowstone, and your travel vlog truly helped us planning our trip. Gracias. Thank you. And uh, and indirectly, you know, and the, the same, you know, it's, it's like a chain of recommendations. I got much of my my, my research from the, the, and I want to meet him in person one of these days from Loloho. Uh, uh, and uh, I wanna now I wanna go back, and that's probably it, uh, that's that's the other thing. Okay, I had forgotten. That's the third option for summer 2021. If Alaska falls through, if Europe falls through, I mean 2022, summer 2022, we're gonna do the West Coast again, but with Ely, both of us together. And uh, with the West Coast comes uh, Yosemite, and we, we, we might try to do Yosemite like. Uh, not on the high season. We'll, we'll see. But that's kind of... Uh, uh, Daniel Ruiz, uh, thank you for the super chat. Mount M Monadnock in southern New Hampshire is great, but bit hard hike climb. Best views from the top for miles. We also love the inn at East Hill Farms. And um, we'll see how much hiking we're going to be able to do on this, on this trip. But... Uh, uh, we're gonna. I, I definitely want to do a couple of hikes. Actually, to uh, Killian Key. What's the name of the uh, ski resort? Just uh, like in, it's like about, about two hours away from us, uh, north of us, Killigan or something like that. I had Killings, Killington, Killington. Uh, we're gonna do Killington uh, probably tomorrow or the day after. Look forward to the summer 2021 premiere in Janet Vaughn. And yeah, it's going to be a long-ish episode. Um, it's just the, the whole trip from Miami, Florida to, to Middlebury, Indiana, where we picked up the, the RV. That's basically the whole trip. But we're going to spend like two days in Pelicamp. So you're going to see a little more of Pelicamp and a little more of the area. We went to one of the springs. We went to... We did a couple of things. And uh, and then on the way north, well, I can't give anything, everything away, so you have to watch it, right? Uh, uh, but of course, all of you who are members or patrons uh, in the channel, you have watched it already. So, Dan Nussbaum, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Do you think your next RV would be a trailer, travel trailer, or drivable? Well, we'll see. We'll see. We still have a we still have a year with uh, with the twenty one oh eight DS, which I can't talk about it yet. But Guanabago is going to make a big announcement soon. Uh, uh, but um, the next one, I would really love to try it. I don't know exactly what I want yet. On the large side, I have a view in mind on the small size side I have a I have a Travado in mind that is if Guanabago wants to continue you know doing the the the, the ambassadorship thing uh, but I definitely want to have something under 25 feet long and no slides 
We'll see. Okay, I'm going to go to the end of the chat and work my way back up. How, how about that? There's Owl's Head in Groton, a 1.8 hike to the top with a stone hut up there. Yeah, 1.8 is, is an easy hike as long as it's not too steep. So we could do that one. Uh, okay, someone's asking, yes, I'm in Ver Vermont now. Hey, Dylan Reynolds, the uh, question is, Vermont going to be part of summer 2021 or fall 2021 trip series? No, it's going to be fall. Uh, and actually, that's this funny thing. Yesterday we were in the, uh, this morning and yesterday we were in the Finger Lakes area. And that's exactly the point where summer ended. And that's kind of the point where fall begins. Not really. Fall began a, a couple of weeks ago, but as far as destinations, we've, we've done Pittsburgh. But then it was the M21 meetup, which is a destination unto itself, but it was more like fun. I didn't film all that much. Then there's Makino Island, which is going to be a short video, but it's going to be a good video. And then the drive here, I, I spent two nights uh, uh, in Middlebury. At Winnebago, I filmed the, the, the stuff that I cannot talk about yet, you know, the, the new the new stuff that they're coming out with. And uh, and I got a little bit of work done here in the RV. And uh, and then, and now, Daniel Reese, thank you for that super chat. Killington has the greatest, has a great harvest host. I am not harvest host, oh, you know, I, I, I need to get new glasses soon, too. The Great Harvest Fest this year is on October 9th, so in about a week. So we might be able to go back to Killington just for that. How about that? So, um, yeah, we might do that. And Rafi Raphael Munn, uh, thank you for the super chat. My Mexican lady left for a Venezuelan. I need God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Is that a question you don't need to answer? <laughs> um, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have some good Venezuelan friends, by the way. Mexican. And Mexican friends too. Yeah, absolutely. We love watching Robert because his travel shows are unique and include everything a family on a camping trip needs to know. Greetings from... Oh, man. Smer Smedarevo, a city on the Danube River, eastern Serbia. I would love to visit uh, Serbia and uh, actually all the countries that used to be J Yugoslavia, you know, the, the whole Balkans, uh, quote-unquote, area. Uh, is that part of Europe that that few people, uh, not not as many people visit? You know, it's not Paris or you know, you know uh, uh, that kind of thing. And I would love to visit. I, I hear there's so there's so much beauty in in uh, in in that area. Eastern Serbia. Okay, my second monitor died too, but I wanna. Uh, Hold on, what happened here? We should find a way to do a live stream which is Europe friendly. It is 120 over here. I'm sorry about that. You know, it's um maybe we should two we should do two live streams. Remember when TV used to have like an eastern uh when in the United States, like an eastern feed and a western feed? They still do, right? They still do. But uh I just want to keep it consistent, but we might be able to do something like at 3 p.m. Eastern, when it is 9 p.m. Europe, uh, Western Europe at least. Uh, but then it's going to be noon for California, so you know what I mean. And 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 then Jason will, won't be able to to see us from from. I don't know if I can divulge divulge his actual location, but he's uh, somewhere probably in the 
in the plus five time zone or something like that. Uh, Traveling Robert says, uh, Ely is there, promise her an Arizona wine tour live. She just lit up, like, <laughs> her face just lit up, like, yeah. Actually, we had some great Arizona wines, you know where? Um, El Tovar, no, we were, we were at the Grand Canyon Village. It was a restaurant, it wasn't El Tovar, and it wasn't at the, it wasn't uh, by the Bright Angel Lodge. I forget the name of the restaurant, but... Very good. It was a San Giovese wine. Uh, my adventure real sending positive thoughts from Omaha, Nebraska. Keep Omaha, cool town, Omaha. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Great insight. The song is quite catchy too. Yeah, I saw in Omaha they they turned down that building that used to be like an office complex right by the by the park that has the fountain. Another building condos or something. Jim and DC, the old joke. Have a nice trip. See you next fall. Yeah, I shouldn't have a second IPA, LOL. What was the old joke? I can't have a second IPA. My mom won't let me. At least not on the air. I can't find it now, and this computer keeps freezing up. I need to get me a proper second monitor. No, no, no need to super chat for that. <laughs> I need to get me a, I have this... The, the good thing about this monitor is small, but it's one of these USB monitors that is not very reliable, not, I mean, not very high quality, but for the RV, it works great. Um, check out Long Island, New York. It's on the short list. I might. I might be able to do it on this trip, believe it or not. Girl, drive driver, 6 p.m. is fitting time at my zoo, so I missed a lot of the stream. You can't work everyone's schedule, so do what's best for you. And the only reason the fit is at 6, that's because that's the time I used to leave work on Fridays. <laughs> or pretty much every day, unless I had to do something. And then I would rather stay until like 7.30 when rush hour traffic uh, uh, ended. But uh, that's the only reason that the fit is at 6 p.m. Eastern, because that's how it started. My, my drive home... Uh, from downtown Miami, which took about uh, roughly 45 minutes. And for those 45 minutes, you know, I had the phone on a, on a, you know, on a mount there by the windshield. And and while I was stuck in traffic in the parking lot that is uh, Southwest 7th Street in Little, Little Havana during rush hour, that's how I did it. Uh, Gord uh, Chick Queen, uh, thank you for that super chat. Hey, Robert, I've heard you mention Road Trippers and uh, a great book of knowledge, Wikipedia. What else do you use to plan your trips? The great book of knowledge, Wikipedia, Road Trippers. I use Google, of course. I Google things. Illy helps me out a lot. Illy was the one who found this campground, actually. Uh, oh, what else do I use? I use... Um, I use, of course, they call it crowdsourcing, and it's all the recommendations that you guys give me. Uh, not all of them, because some of them, like if you, if you uh, tell me something here in the chat, uh, there's a good chance that I'm not a good chance, but there's a chance that I might forget. But I have a, like my inbox in Robert at travelingrobert.com. I have a folder for each state. So whenever someone uh, offers me their home, like Errol in Minnesota, for example, that's how I contacted him. Hey, Errol, I'll be here. Uh, or whenever someone gives me a recommendation about a state, I have a, a, a folder for each state and for each Canadian province. And I have one that is like for Europe, uh, just whenever for whenever I go to Europe. Yeah. My adventure real, yeah, the Conagra campus over by the sold market, but the old market, yeah. Cool place over there. They actually redoing that entire area. It'll be quite different next time you cruise through. Well, actually, you haven't seen that on video yet, but we cruised through there about I want to say two months ago, three months ago. When whenever the, we were in, in, in Omaha, actually we were in Omaha uh, for a couple hours during the summer trip, and everything was under construction. But we did different things in Omaha. We went to that bridge where you can stand in two states at the same time. We did a little bit of old market. 
And uh, Debbie Newell, thank you for the super chat. So glad you and Ileana are traveling together. Enjoy. Yes, it's been, it's, it's been definitely great, uh, you know, not being by, by my lonesome out there on the, on, the, on the lonely roads of the United States. Robert, I just found out that your picadillo dish is somewhat similar to our Filipino dish called gnilling, thanks to Spanish influence in cooking. Yeah, and I know uh, uh, you, you, uh, you guys in Philippines have some kind of pork roast. It's called adobo, I believe, or something like that, that is very similar to the Cuban por pork roast or Cuban Puerto Rican, Dominican, you know, with, with kind of similar cuisine. So it's... Uh, it's actually quite interesting that two countries on different sides of the world have similar cultures just because of they were colonized by the, the by the same uh, European power uh, at some point. Uh, Travel Dreamer 46, thank you for that super chat. How do you like the Murphy bed now? We like it. It's not perfect. It's not, it's, it's not like a, a, you know, like a uh, whatever, Tumper uh, seven thousand dollar mattress. No, it's not. It, but it's fine. You know, we sleep well. <laughs> and uh, the, the, what I like, and excuse the mess, I have a mess back there right now. But it turns into that when we're, when, it, when it is not a bed. So that's the best feature actually. And some usually when we go to sleep, we're so tired that if it is, it's not a big. It's not the most comfortable, but it's fine. We were sleeping with, but that's that's the the the, the best feature of it. Uh, Rocking Rob, hey uh, everyone, gotta pay some attention to the wife. So have an awesome and safe weekend. See you next week. See you next week, man. And I may have to pay some attention to the wife too. So we may end the live stream here uh, in a few minutes because we've been at it for an hour already. Uh, Cesar Rosario. Oh, hi Robert. God bless you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. And Dan Nussbaum, does anyone run nitrogen in their RV tires? This came with nitrogen, but as they start losing air, as they always do, you know, we, we, we put uh, regular air. And I think nitrogen is, uh, is more of like a marketing thing. It more like, yeah, I know the molecules are larger, so it's less likely to, to leak, that kind of thing, but it's just put regular air. <laughs> uh, Lucky Duck Productions. Hi, LV Pana. We are in our Sticks and Bricks home in Florida. We sold our road track last year and have not yet gotten a replacement. Nice to meet you. By the way, a question for you, Bob and Sue. Are you going to get a new rig sometime, someday? You know, maybe not a road track, maybe a trailer, maybe, you know, it's... Uh, that's how I met you because you remember that that was actually the first outside of Miami meetup we ever had in Daytona, the Daytona meetup. And that was a lot of fun when I got to meet Bob and Sue in person and, uh, and a bunch of other of you. I, who, who else went to that one? Paul Falsey went to that one and this traveler. And uh, yeah, you know, you know, a <laughs> bunch of people. And uh, Hey, Lisa, Lisa. Hello, Lisa, Lisa, Airscape Adventures. And uh, welcome to the show. Where are you heading next in the next road adventure? Well, we're in Vermont. New Hampshire is next door. So, next door so. Vermont, New Hampshire. And then we're going to start working our way back to Florida. Lamar Whiteley. My daughter, Aliyah. Is it Aliyah? Elia says hello, Eli. She loves it when she pops up on the shows. Yeah, she doesn't pop up much, but I'm gonna make sure she, she pops a little more. Maybe we'll take a selfie. Actually, last week's live stream, uh, <coughs> she was there a lot. Just, mean, just watch. Just go to live. Uh, last, never mind. <laughs> she doesn't want me to do it. Uh, uh, Jim and DC, we're really looking hard at Winnebago hike with the Murphy bed. Enjoy seeing them in Hershey. The hike is good. There's a new hike, but I can't talk about it yet. 
Uh, hello from <laughs> hello from Malaysia. Been to Malaysia before? Have a blast. I have never been to Malaysia, but I do want to uh, go to uh, <clears throat> Kuala Lumpur. I saw that movie with uh, Sean Connery and uh, what was what's her name? Catherine Zeta Jones. And it's like a like a spy thriller, you know, and uh, there was something going on with the with the with the Petronas Towers. Uh, on, uh, it's like a 1998-1999 movie. Anyways, uh, I do want to go to Malaysia at some point. I might do like maybe we'll do like a couple of months in like Southeast Asia and visit the whole area. We'll, we'll try to do and make like a like a documentary of the of the whole place. We are all waiting on new traveling videos with Minitini 3, Jose Santiago. Well, next, this Sunday, the day after tomorrow, you're going to see Minitini 3 at the end. And then next week is the first video, the maiden voyage. Andrew and Monica want to know what's Ileana's wine of choice. Well, right now she's drinking Vino Verde from Portugal. I love all wines. Huh? I love them all. She loves them all. No, you don't like Chardonnay. No, I don't like Chardonnay. That's hey. the only one I don't like. I don't like sweet wines. Not Chardonnay, no sweet wines. Everything else, if, if, if she doesn't like it, I'll drink it. So don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like Chardonnay and I don't like Pinot Noir. But everything else pretty much is it's all good. Uh, when do you plan to visit Connecticut? Oh, we're so close. Maybe, maybe uh, before the end of this trip as we... <laughs> work our way south hey jim jim's in the house i saw jim in person like two days ago for like 15 minutes i saw barb his wife longer than jim uh, we were there and we were there for like two hours in uh, in ohio in marion county uh, a quick hi to a quick hi done at the farm for the day now off to spray thank you for stopping by the other day glad you enjoyed your first but not your last combine ride Oh, I forgot. Now I've been in, a, in an RV, I've been in a boat, I've been in a plane, I've been in a combine. Now I need to go like do like the. I, I need to do a snowmobile this winter. Snowmobile. Tell Barb <laughs> that the ships are also moving. Oh yeah, tell Barb. <laughs> I didn't get it. I got, I got to try it. <laughs> Give us the inside scoop on the new hike. Well, uh, when you can. Yeah, I kind of. Uh, I'm kind of uh, not the best vineyard in the USA. I don't know if the best. Uh, I'm. I'm. I have to. I'm gonna have to say like somewhere in Napa Valley. I don't know if Hess Collection. Hess Collection. When we're talking like, you know which one I liked a lot, and I still do. Shandong. Shandong was founded by by, by the same people of Moet and Shandong of France. I think it was one of the family members, and uh, Shandong is good. Jim, traveling rubber, Bob is into snowmobiles too. Jim, we're gonna have to go to Ohio in winter, man. That's it. Tell us when. <laughs> Just man, we'll see. Maybe we, we maybe we can snowmobile uh, all the way to Lake Erie. Gets frozen sometimes. I don't know. Hey, I'm kind of crazy, so I might do it. In fact, at some point, not right now that I'm traveling so much, but at some point, I would love to spend a little, like, long-term time in in a place like Alaska or northern Finland. Not like a year, but experience the winter with the ability of, you know, go some someplace else if, if I get cabin fever or something. But I would love to just you know, see, see how it, how it is. North of the Arctic Circle, see the, the, the Aurora Borealis every night. And uh, RV DJ refills anyone. I don't know. I think we should do like last call very soon here because we've been here at over an hour. So, and I'm, I'm kind of empty. By the way, I almost run out, run out of gas today. Because I put this gas station on the GPS, you know, I, I had like 50, 40 miles left. And I arrived at the gas station that Google said it was cheap. It was so cheap that it was under construction, so there was no gas station there. And I'm like, you see, you watch. And then 
uh, Google said next gas station 20 miles and I have like and that you know that thing is not accurate I had like less than 30 miles left so it was like I was running on fumes but then Ely found the gas station that was closed it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. I know it's gonna come back. And it came back. Because you have to have faith in the internet deities. No, it's not back. <laughs> Uh, brother. No, in, in case we don't come back. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for watching this weekend. Uh, I, I could change internets, but I don't think it's going to make a difference. So, uh, until next Friday. I'm riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. And it doesn't come back. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out on this uh, Friday, coming to you from Vermont. So, uh... well, I'll just say goodbye just in case, you know, hey, I'm back, I'm back. Baby, come back. I'm back, and now the... Yeah, I'm back. Did you hear me sing? Okay, I'm going to sing again, just in case you didn't hear me sing. Everybody, thank you so much for hanging out, all 350 of you that that stayed throughout uh, the, the buffering. Uh, thank you so much. I'll see you next week, probably from somewhere in New Hampshire. I'm going to go on on a limb and say, uh, before we, lost the, we lose the internet again, Thank you. I'm. I think it. It. Anyway, I'm riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. Happy Friday, and see you next week, probably from from New Hampshire. I'm like the anchor on TV when, when they don't go to tape. <laughs>